Hi everybody, I'm Miss Deirdre from Winterville Library. I have two stories for you today. The first story is about numbers. So I thought I would start with a number poem that comes from an old book. It was my first collection of stories and poems. Look how old that book is. I had this when I was a very little girl. And here's the number poem. And I'll share the pictures with you. It's called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a good fat hen. Eleven, twelve, who will delve? Delve means to dig. Thirteen, fourteen, maids a courting. Fifteen, sixteen, maids a kissing. Seventeen, eighteen, maids a waiting. Nineteen, twenty, my plate is empty. book was written by two people who live in Georgia and they live near our area. Sandy Luce Strontz and Peter Luce. The book is called Bongo Has Many Friends. These authors also published the book and we have permission from the authors to read this book. Peter Luce is the man who did the paintings for this book. And they're special paintings. They have dots. I want you to see all the dots. And there's counting in this book. Bongo has many friends. They are all different colors and kinds. Can you see all the dots in this picture? The outlines, everything is outlined in dots. Bongo is friends with one black pig. Her name is Honey. Even the flowers have dots. Bongo watches birds at the feeder. He spies two blue jays and three red cardinals. There's the blue jays. And the cardinals. See all the dots? Four brown dogs are friends with Bongo. Two are big and two are little. Four brown dogs. Two are big. And two are little. Bongo plays hide and seek with five gray squirrels. When he sees them, he barks. Bongo knows six white rabbits. They nibble clover at night. Do you ever see rabbits in your yard or in the park? I have rabbits in my yard. Seven yellow chicks live in Bongo's yard. Mama Hen keeps them close. 
seven yellow chicks. You are counting. What comes after seven? Bongo sees eight purple butterflies. They flutter in circles. Bongo sits near the pond because nine orange fish swim in it. Can you see the orange fish? Can you see the dots? And ten green frogs hop around it. All around the pond are the frogs. Bongo does have many friends. Do you remember them all? Let's see. Okay, we have numbers and animals. One. One pig. Two, two cardinals, three, three red cardinals, four, four dogs, one, two, three, four. Remember, there's Two big dogs and two little dogs. Five. Hmm. Where's five, guys? Five squirrels. One, two, three, four, five squirrels. What comes after five? Six. Six rabbits. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes after six? Seven. Hmm. Seven chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next is eight. It's the butterflies. You remembered that there were eight butterflies, didn't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butterflies. Next comes nine. It's the goldfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That leaves ten. Must be the frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for helping. And I have one more story. It's called Some Dogs Do by Jez Alboro.
some dogs do. Some Dogs Do by Jez Alborough is published by Candlewick Press. This is read with permission from Candlewick Press. When Sid set off for school one day, a happy feeling came his way. It filled him up so much, he found his paws just lifted off the ground. Without a how, without a why, Sid fell up toward the sky. Through swirling puffs of cloud he twirled above a tiny toy town world. In the land of sun and moon, like a doggy shaped balloon, at school, Sid asked his best friend, Ben, did you see me fly just then? Don't be daft, came Ben's reply. You're a dog and dogs don't fly. But I did, said Sid. I did, I did. In the classroom, Sid said, Hey, guess what? I flew to school today. His classmates giggled, yelped, and yelled. Dogs don't fly to school, they howled. But I did, Sid said. I did. Miss Mayer, the teacher, shook her head. Wow, Sid, you shouldn't lie, she said. All dogs walk and jump and run. But dogs don't fly. It can't be done. But I did, said Sid. Gus said, right, if you can fly, come outside. Let's see you try. Sid's happiness had gone by then. He tried to get it back again. He thought about the clouds up high. And then he jumped toward the sky. You see, you're just a dog, said Gus with paws for walking, just like us. I will teach you not to lie. Now you know that dogs don't fly. When Sid walked home from school that day, it seemed a long and lonely way. And once at home with mom and dad, D 
deep inside, he still felt bad. He did the things he always did, but something wasn't right with Sid. His dad came out and asked, What's up? You seem unhappy, little pup. Sid sat staring at the sky, and all he said was, Dogs don't fly. Sid's dad slowly raised his head. I know a secret, Sid, he said. Could you keep it safe inside? What's the secret, Sid replied. He turned around and then he knew. Now you know the secret too. Sid's happy eyes were open wide. I knew it! Dogs do fly, he cried. His, Sid's dad said, come fly then, Sid. And that's exactly what Sid did. Do dogs fly? Is it true? Some dogs don't, and some dogs do. I enjoyed seeing you today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.